cost of living has gone up. All of us are feeling the impact when paychecks don't stretch as far. Yeah, today, Nebraska Supreme Court interpreters all across the state staged a walkout in protest of better pay. Those interpreters say for the last year they have worked to increase their pay. That hasn't been changed in almost 20 years. 1011 now, Samantha Burnt joins us live from the newsroom tonight with more on this story. Hey, Sam. Cole Madison, today I spoke with five Nebraska Supreme Court certified Spanish interpreters. They say this walkout comes after Governor Jim Pillen vetoed additional funding to the Supreme Court in the two year budget, which includes funding for court interpreters. Court interpreters play a vital role in the court system by providing services for defendants, victims, attorneys, and more. Language access is access to justice. Constanza Meyer is one of 10 Nebraska Supreme Court certified Spanish interpreters that staged a walkout today, leaving 16 Spanish interpreters on the roster. It's unclear how many interpreters left across the state, but interpreter Kelly Vargas says the impacts will be felt in many ways. It's going to bog down the system, which is expensive and it's frustrating for families who have to access the court system. It can be costly to them for missing work, coming to court, finding out they don't actually have anyone to interpret for them. Vargas says rates for interpreters haven't gone up since 2004. Court interpreters work as contractors on an as needed basis, with certified interpreters making $50 an hour and non-certified interpreters making $35 an hour. What we are asking for is simply to be to have in today's money what we were making in 04, you know, have it adjusted for inflation. This year, state senator George Dungan introduced LB 176 which requested an additional $600,000 per year for pay increases. In an email, Senator Dungan says that bill was amended to a lower price tag of $200,000 per year, which was ultimately vetoed by Governor Pillen. In his letter outlining the line item vetoes, Pillen said the Supreme Court has enough funding to manage potential increases in demand for these services. Interpreters say this walkout will last as long as it needs to until they receive fair compensation. So if members of, of those communities have any type of court dealings, we're here to help. Um, and because of the nature of the subject matters that we deal with here, complete, accurate, precise interpretations are essential. Interpreters estimate that about 5% of Nebraska's population uses a language other than English in their homes. The Supreme Court offered the interpreters an increase, but they say it was less than half of what they were asking for, so they rejected it.